Yesterday, we found a body in the lab. A Mr. Body. This was no accident. This was a murder. We have a few suspects we'd like to introduce to you. Mrs. White and Mrs. Peacock were found with different molarities of potassium iodine. Mr. Green and Mr. Mustard had strontium nitrate on them. Professor Plum and Tammy Tangerine had been keeping calcium chloride on their bodies. Miss Scarlet and Dr. Blue are the last of the suspects found with sodium hydroxide and kilotene oil. Now over to the lab to determine the murder weapon. Now we're going to, what we're going to do is react every chemical we found together. We are then going to react the murder weapon with, one, with all of those chemicals. We've just about determined the murder weapon. Aha, it's calcium chloride. You're right, all of the data matches up. So Plum has headed out from the start for Professor Body. And it just made his blood boil when he broke the lab equipment and didn't pick it up. And Tammy has always had a crush on Mr. Body, and he didn't feel the same way about her, and so she killed him. I think we need the scientist's help with this one. I agree. What we are going to do is determine the molarity of the calcium chloride. First, we chose a chemical to react with calcium chloride. This chemical is NaCO3. The precipitate was calcium chloride. We mixed 5.0 milliliters of the CaCl2 with 11.0 milliliters of NaCO3. Then we stirred it for two minutes and poured it into a beaker with filter paper. Once all the liquid had gone through the filter paper, the filter paper was left for 48 hours to dry. 48 hours later, we weighed the paper a second time to determine the mass of the precipitate. We then used stoichiometry to determine the moles, and we used the molarity equation to determine the molarity. We found that the molarity was 0.16 m with a 60% error. We collectively and unanimously accused Professor Plum for the murder of Mr. Body.